Welcome to this tutorial on presentation views in PowerPoint. PowerPoint provides five different ways you can present your slides. On the ribbon, you can move over to the View tab. Upon selecting the View tab, you can see on the left, Presentation Views. We have the following presentation views. Normal, Outline View, Slide Sorter View, Notes Page, and Reading View. Normal. Normal is the default view, which shows your, all your slides on the left and your active slide in the middle. Normal is the editing mode you will spend most of your time building your presentation. Next, Outline View. Outline View displays your presentation as an outline made up of titles, main text, bulleted text from each slide. Graphics appear as a small notation as a slide icon. Outline view is used to make global edits while getting an overview of your presentation. Now you can also change the sequence of bullets on your slide. Simply move down to where the item you want to change, click on it, move over to the left, and you'll see this line, and now you can move it down. So we have computer mic, now we have mic and computer. So we can see how this changes. We can also change the order of the slides by selecting the icon for the slide and moving it down to a different area. You can also make formatting changes. You can also print your presentation in outline view. Next, slice order view. Besides the normal view, you will use the slide order view a lot. Slide sort of view allows you to see the overall layout of your presentation. You can easily change the order of your slides. In slide sort of view, you can analyze and find the good and bad parts of your presentation. Find if you have a good flow to your presentation. You can also test to see how your slides would look on various types of media, such as a cell phone or iPad. You can come down to the bottom and you can increase the size of these slides about the size of an, an iPhone or most phones. And so this gives you an idea of what it, that would look like if somebody's watching your presentation on a phone. Now let's go to notes page view. Notes page view, you can see you have a slide and you have the notes underneath. If you plan on handing out handouts of, to your audience of your presentation, you'll want to add notes of what you said during the presentation. This is where the notes page is used. Now keep in mind, you don't have to sit here and type everything on each slide from your presentation. If you had written out your whole presentation, all the notes and everything you were gonna say, for example, in a Word document, you can open up the Word document, say this is your whole presentation, and you can select the text from your Word document, just copy each part that pertains to the slide, move over to your slide, go to the end, and simply insert the text from your Word document. You can then print off your presentation with slide views and with the notes. Reading view. Reading view has not always been part of PowerPoint. I could be wrong, but I think it started about 2016. So many of you might have never used Reading View in the past. In today's environment with online presentations, Reading View is a must-have if you only have one monitor. It is hard online to share your screen and slideshow view, see, comment, or launch other applications while presenting. For example, if we hit Escape, we'll come out of this Reading View, and if we come down here to Presentation View, you'll now see that we have a full screen with a slide. There is no way we can access, while being in this view, other programs or go back and select other things within PowerPoint. We're totally locked out because this slide takes up the whole screen. Let's exit back out and now go back to Reading View. Now in reading view, we have the status bar at the bottom and the bar at the top are available. So in this view, we can have the advantage of being able to, one thing is we can move around in our slide, but the other thing is we can change views. We can go change to presentation view, go back out, 
go back to reading view. And once again, we can select slice order view. We can select all the features, our normal view, make changes, and so people during a presentation are changes. And go back to reading view real easy. Now, how do you move around in reading view? One way is we can use these arrows at the bottom. So we can go back to our next slide, our next slide, and we can also go over here to the arrow and move the other direction. If we select the button in the middle between the two arrows, it brings up other options such as next, go to slide, where we go to a specific slide number or slide. You can see all of our slides. We can pick out whichever one we want and go directly to it. It also allows us to zoom in and print preview, copy slide, add a slide, full screen, and show. So in the future, especially on online presentations, you'll find out you'll be using Reading View a lot. By the way, there are some keystrokes on moving from slide to slide. And one is in. We're on the very end, so it ended our presentation. Or we can go to P for previous. So that's in for next, P for previous. We can also use our down arrow on our keyboard and our up arrow to move around. And like in slideshow view, we can exit the program by hitting escape. Or we'll go back up here to reading view again. We can also go into the menu down here between the arrows again, and we can end the show by that method. Appreciate you watching this tutorial. And please subscribe.